If you have Photoshop, you can edit the text very easily. When you open the PSD file supplied in your package, you'll see that there are several text elements, four in total. If you double click in this area, you can change the wording. So for example, instead of presenting, you may prefer to put something like um, perhaps launch today, uh, your site headline might be eat oh, can't spell today, eat healthy lose weight let me just accept that and then move that slightly over and the same with subheading just move it over there we go and then the copyright would have your site name. So if we take out yoursite.com, we would put mysite.com, or whatever your site name might be. You'd then save the file, and you're ready to slice the images. Now the slicing is already in place for you. If you click on the Slice Select tool here, you'll see that the individual slices, which make up the theme, uh, are already positioned for you and then you can just save as uh, save for web sorry and then uh, you'd have fully sliced images if you don't have Photoshop or you don't know how to do this we can change the text for you for a nominal fee uh, you can see that on the um, amendment page if you go back to the main site let me just uh, there we go. So, any wording you like. If you leave these alone, these are the layer styles, then you will maintain the look and feel of the overall template. If you start changing them, uh, let's have a look, looking at the launch today, the, the whole effect will change. So if you have a look, if you look here, you can see what happens when I change the settings. If you want to experiment, that's fine, but bear in mind that if you uh, if you make a mistake, it may be difficult to get back to. So if you're going to experiment, I would suggest saving a copy of this somewhere safe uh, and then working on the copy only. Keep the original safe, and that way you can always get back to the original design.